Hey, this is Shane with BitBison, and uh, I'm going to go over the function of the TVNT Manager. Now, the TVNT Manager is another change that was implemented in version number 1.2. Um, what the TVNT Manager does is, um, actually in the previous versions I had uh, most of these functions that, that uh, um, most people would actually use. So you have uh, a next level function, a pot smashing function, a coin pickup function, a life lost event, and a player dead event. And uh, these events are triggered, uh, like for instance the first next level event, uh, is triggered when the player character reaches the end of the level. So I'll, I'll show you what that looks like right here. Um, okay, oh, I turned off the UI, turn it back on. So, uh, let's turn this off as well. So, our uh, next level event, our next uh, level event is triggered actually by when the character reaches that green cross over there towards the end. That's when the next level event is triggered, right there. So, uh, it helps you, it helps you kind of, you know, uh, pull that stuff out. So, every time uh, the player lands on, on that uh, end level block, this next level event is going to be triggered. And uh, similar to, to the way Unity handles buttons and whatnot, um, uh, you, you get to s kind of point out uh, a function that should be called every single time the player lands on, on, on that end level block, and that's what I've done over here. I have a function called next level, present on a script called game3, present on the main camera object, and uh, so that's what I've done. I, I've just, uh, I'll show it to you over here. I, so I'll take this, delete it, uh, add it again. What I do is I drag the main camera in there and then I go looking for the game three script and I look for the next level function. And so this is gonna be triggered every single time, uh, as I said before, the, the player lands on, uh, on the green cross. Now, <coughs> you get the same thing for the pot smash events, so again, uh, let's actually talk about the coin pickup events, which are similar. Now, you have uh, the player picking up these coins over here. I click on the play, and and you see that uh, a skull pop up and drop back off. Now that's triggered by the coin pickup event. So every time a player picks up a coin, it sends out a coin pickup event, and it looks for the TV anti manager, and and triggers this coin pickup event. And now. Uh, again, like I've done with uh, the next level event, uh, I have uh, a script on the main camera which uh, has a function called pick up coin. And uh, these functions need to take a vector 3 as an argument uh, because that's the way they've been formulated and that's the position of the pickup. So uh, if I want a score spawning from that position, uh, I mean I need the position to be able to score, uh, to spawn the score from there. So that's what uh, I have over here. Now, it's exactly the same thing for the pod smash event, so I'm not going to go over that. Uh, let's look at the life lost event and the player dead event, which are very similar to the next level events. Now, um, every single time the player loses a life, uh, we have a life lost event, and every single time the player dies, we have a game, uh, a player dead event. And uh, uh, now, if you were used to the first version of the Verbi Noun Toolkit, version 1.1 and, and, and below, uh, the player actually just had a single life, um, but uh, lives have been added into version number two, and the player can have multiple lives. And and this uh, value depends on, uh, again, if you look at it uh, from here, let me delete this, now run the game, game again, and uh, the value for the number of lives the player has is actually, should rather be correlated to the number of stars that you have up here, or hearts that you have up here actually. And um, so every single time the player loses a life, this event, this event gets called the life lost event. And once the player has lost all his lives or has fallen off the level, the player dead event is called and uh, the corresponding functions can be called. So it's just an easy way for you to uh, point these functions to any function, uh, any, any personalized function that you have. So that is uh, 
about it for the TVNT manager and uh, yeah there should be some updates coming on on the way in, in respect to other prefabs and whatnot and uh, I will post tutorials the moment that comes out